I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you a single player or multiplayer game named Water Gun. And Water Gun is exactly what you think it is. You throw snowballs against this target behind me. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Uh, it's only called Water Gun since, yeah. You have only limited options here in Minecraft how to do some arcade games you see in like real theme parks or stuff like that. You know the game where you shoot the balloons and they just pop at some point with a water gun? That's the equivalent here in Minecraft. And this machine here is again suggested by a viewer, so many many thanks at this point to all of you out there suggesting new ideas or also commenting the build ideas by myself. So really, really appreciate your support. And also I read all your comments. I really try also to answer all of them. So keep commenting. I really, really enjoy it. And I also come across very nice video ideas like this one here. And yeah, we thank today the real Timmy T and he is suggested to build a water gun game like you see at Carnivals. And yeah, he wrote a very, very long comment explaining what the machine should do. And he basically suggests that if you get to the top first, you win. And I try to incorporate both of those um, concepts with the you get to the top and win and also the composter. I really try to keep to your uh, basically guidelines to build this game. And I think it came out very well. So as you saw in the preview, we just insert here one diamond. We get a lot of snowballs. And after that, we have to shoot this target block here in the middle. And by doing so, we just fill this light bar at the bottom. It's technically not to the top, it's like to the right. <laughs> but you can also put this uh, vertically. I just didn't have any like space in here. I wanted to de design it as compact as possible. And that's why I just put it in the floor. But of course you can put that bar anywhere and yeah, you can basically make it to the top. But as soon as you hit these targets uh, multiple times, you can fill these lamps from left to right. And if you light the most right lamp here, you will also trigger this nice uh, fireworks rocket here. As you saw in the preview, it's just a very nice green firework. So every one of the spectators or players around you can watch you if you won or your opponent won. So uh, that's a single player version. I just built here one of these machines or one of these slots. As you can see, they are completely tileable. You can tile as many of them as you like. And I tried it here, so yeah, that's just I just didn't copy everything since it's just for demonstration purposes. But for the multiplayer version, I also installed here these shields. And yeah, as for some games of mine, you have to trust your players. Of course, you can get an elytra, fly in there, do some weird stuff with the target, uh, just shoot it each time or so. But you have to really trust your opponent. That's why you also cannot win anything in this game. The only thing you win is like the honor that you've won <laughs> or that you beat your your opponent so yeah that's what what you can win here just pay one diamond and then you just have to win first and as you can for example are here a spectator you just you just sit here and see whoever lights the green firework first so and you can also just uh, select different colors for the frame and also for the target down there so i also want to try to zoom always with c like optifine zoom but yeah i just i'm just low on 193.9.3 so I didn't install Optifine yet, so yeah, shame on RT. <laughs> so, and as always, this video will be structured into two parts. The first part, I will give you a very fast overlook of all the circuit involved. But as you can see, there are not that many circuits, not that many colors, and they're also quite simple to build. So it should be rather fast to build this machine. And the second part, we will build it block by block together so you can build it in your single player or multiplayer Minecraft world. So this one should also be bedrock compatible. We don't have a lot of pistons in there that should get some trouble. I think it's bad. Yeah, it should be bedrock compatible. They're just normal sticky pistons in there just doing their thing. And it's also, of course, uh, built here in Java. And yeah, the first thing I want to do is just put in here one more diamond. And as we can see now, we get like uh, 30, what is it, 34? Yeah, we should get, yeah, we should get 34. Um, snowballs and you can customize this machine to your needs. If you want more snowballs for your customers, just increase the clock length. If you want less snowballs, just yeah, decrease the clock length. And the first thing you will notice is we have here an item filter, which is here. And as soon as you place in one diamond into this half slab here, the item filter gets activated. We transfer here from the ref left to the right a wooden X, <laughs> from the left to the right, from the right to the left, of course. 
and we just permanently activate this comparator here. We activate this line, we just call them up here with some redstone torches and then we are here at the heart of this machine, which is a timer. And this timer basically uh, feeds a clock. We get an alternating redstone signal here and this alternating redstone signal just powers this 50% dropper every now and then. And we can of course individualize the pulse length here. Uh, now it is set to 4, 8, uh, 16 ticks in total. And of course you can just half it for example. You can just do like two on each of those repeaters. And as you can see now we are much faster clock length, uh, much faster um, pulses here. So that's how you can completely customize it. You can also increase the amount of repeaters or decrease it to like really low amount of repeaters. But as soon as one of those 50-50% uh, chance uh, dropper items, the wooden X uh, to be precise, the non-stackable one gets into this hopper here very quickly. We get a signal strength of two and powering this uh, piston here shortly and powering a four putting a four tick pulse towards this orange circuit here. 50% of the time we get the orange wool and 50% of the time we get the wooden X. Let's uh, watch it like a second or so. Yeah, now we got the wooden X. And if we do so, we can make a, ni a nice sound and we can also push this piston here and it enables us if we throw this target from the other side nothing will happen but as soon as the lights li light on we can throw at a targeted snowball and the signal travels th through the block so we have to be very fast as you like expect just put it there and if you're not that fast enough you will not transfer your signal through this block here and by transferring the signal here we just have a uh, row of uh, droppers filled with melon slices so you can supply this farm with an infinite uh, amount of melons by just putting a melon farm up here and just yeah or automated melon farm for example if it's allowed on multiplayer on your server and you can just feed the chest here with melons and same goes here for the snowballs where are they same goes for the snowballs just feed the chests with snowballs they're quite easy to obtain just get a snow golem on a like block and you can have an infinite amount of snow and depending on how accurately you throw the snowball into the bullseye or into the target block, you light a different amount of redstone here. As you can see now, let's check it out if we can see it. Let's wait for the piston. So now we got like, uh, what was it? I think it was 10 or so. Uh, and the reason why there's like, it starts at seven and goes all the way up to 15 is because we subtract here a set amount of signal strength with these two stacks in a hopper. And just to demonstrate very quickly, if we have two stacks in a hopper, just uh, keep it from getting some items in there, we get exactly signal strength six. So that's why we start here at seven, because here we just subtract six. So if we just, for example, land a snowball on the outer ring, on the most outer ring, where we just get a signal strength below six, I will demonstrate that nothing will happen since this comparator just subtracts it all the time. So we have to get a minimum of signal strength 7 to even transfer one of the melons downwards. And of course if we basically hit the bullseye we get 15 and we transfer then 6 melons at a time downwards. And the main part of this machine is the composter that Timmy mentioned in his comment. And we have here this composter where all the melons get feed into. So just as an example, if we yeah, just grab here a bunch of melons and just put in like, depend. now we just simulate we were very lucky, we just hit a bunch of times and we have 16 melons in there and it just gets composted. And if the composter is full, we get one pulse here. Now it will just be filled again. And this single pulse here gets transferred into this block and moves one of these wooden axes from right to left. And by doing so, it will also um, power this comparator here and this comparator just reads signal strengths and now one lamp is on since one wooden X is transferred. So let's for example bring in 12 more melons. Let's get another one. We get another pulse and of course we transfer the second wooden X to this dropper here and we power the second lamp up here and the third lamp will allow us to win this game and we just win it by emptying this dropper here depowering the comparator therefore powering this torch very shortly it will power the sick this uh, line it will power the reset circuit where it just moves our original x back to the left and it will also reset with an observer clock very quickly all the three items back into the original dropper 
So that's basically how it works. And yeah, as we start the machine, we in addition trigger this clock here and of course uh, fire a lot of snowballs towards the player. That's how we get all the snowballs. And yeah, let's just trigger it one more time with another batch of melons. So we just triggered it, the whole thing resets, we move all the items back and we're basically back to zero. We got the, the uh, fireworks, everything is reset and the next player can play. And of course, this one is um, able to be built tileable. Multiplayer version is also accessible, as you can see here. Just build another one next to it. And if you, for example, don't want to have um, different randomization systems, just for an example, if you copy this one over just to the left, you will have two different randomizers and that would allow one player to be a little bit more lucky than the other one and not so skill based but uh, you can just prevent it by using one randomization system for both of those. So just have an end gate, for example, and end gating those two clocks here, or basically the signals to, to the clocks, and by end gating them with two machines or three machines, doesn't matter how many you have, just build a bigger end gate, you can just um, use the same randomization system for all the machines, so all players have the equal chance and they also have the same, they like the exact same moment where these lamps turn on and they have to hit the target. So that's how you can make it really fair. But if you just, yeah, don't care and just make it fun, just put a randomization system for each of those units and you will be fine as well. So with that explained, I will now go over to the block by block tutorial and I will see you in a second there. So welcome to the block by block tutorial. And I just pre-built here the whole room. Don't be scared away by that. I will just go over it for in a second. So we start with a 15 wide platform and it doesn't matter how deep it is. It's just for demonstration purposes. I built it like nine blocks or so that you can walk around here and show it very easily. But the most important thing is that it's 15 blocks wide. You could do two blocks less on each side. So the absolute minimum would be 11. And that's just to get the frame in there. If you, you can do it also in nine, but then you have to share the walls. So 11 is the safe way to go or 15 if you want to have this decorative uh, concrete uh, frame around it. So then you have to just build this four block high um, red column here, nine blocks in the middle, then again a four block high column. We just have here um, a half slab with a diamond in the frame. Then we just drop down two blocks with a little bit of lighting and here we have a nine by nine area where in the middle is a dispenser with the fireworks in there. Here we have three lamps and here in the front, yeah, the rest is just uh, walls out of concrete and sea lanterns. And here the front wall is just nine blocks wide and five blocks tall. And yeah, we just have target blocks, sea, lan uh, sea lanterns, redstone lamps and some red concrete, a few stairs and quartz blocks. So that's basically the setup. And then I have also here pre-installed after the target block, a comparator on a green lime green wool. So, and here beneath those two blocks here, I installed just some droppers with some snowballs in there to get a little bit faster into the machine. So with that explained, let's start here with the hopper, which is right here. And we just have to face it to the right in this case, and then the bottom one to the left. So it should look like this. So why is there something in? Um, then we're gonna need a chest. That's where all our items or our diamonds, the profits, will be stored. So as a casino owner you can just make a healthy profit with this machine. So then we're gonna place in a little bit of wool and I placed it completely wrong. Really sorry for that. It's on this side here. Redstone torch. Then we need a comparator. Redstone dust, redstone dust. And here we're just gonna place in 18 of secretly named items and one, two, three diamonds. The third one should already be in here, the second one in there. So then we're just gonna place in here a, a repeater. Here we're gonna place a dropper. Here we're gonna place a dropper. And right here we're gonna place a magenta wool to reset it afterwards, like so. And then we're just gonna grab some blue wool 
and we just continue on with a, a comparator and a repeater in this direction. And of course in the right dropper just put uh, any item, doesn't matter, just a wooden X for example. So next up I want to place the yellow circuit which is a comparator, then a piston, then a repeater, another repeater set to four ticks, and then a comparator, comparator, redstone dust, and here to these two droppers we need to feed some redstone dust like so and also some observers and the second one if pushed upwards will just close the observer clock and therefore get you all the snowballs so that's the first part done next we're gonna just place here a lot of hoppers i already placed some um, they just run into the first uh, snowball dropper and the second one, just two rows. Then they just slightly offset and then you place it into this direction here. And here we can already place in some chests. And yeah, just fill those chests here with a bunch of snowballs or a snowball farm. Doesn't matter, just get a lot of snowballs in there for your customers to play. And next up I want to grab some green wool and place in a sticky piston like so that's where the piston goes and behind the piston i just need some orange wool so we place the orange wool behind the piston then another one two pieces of redstone here we're gonna have a repeater set to four ticks um, here we're gonna have two repeaters both of them set to four ticks then we're just gonna build up like this I have a repeater here set to one tick here another redstone dust, another redstone dust and we just continue on until we get to this lamp here. So and also to this lamp down there. Perfect. Next we're gonna go right here and place here repeater set to four ticks, sticky piston block and another repeater set to two ticks. Next up, we're gonna build here the green circuit further. We have here the repeater, uh, the comparator. We have here the hopper with two stacks exactly and a composter on top to reduce server lag. Then we have here a comparator set to subtraction mode. And then that is a 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's the signal strength we require. And then we're just gonna face downwards one dropper, second one, third one and one two three all of them are pre-filled with melons for my case so it's a little bit faster to build and then we just funnel all the melons in here and at some point you can just have a melon chest as seen here yeah just build it there perfect then we just want to collect all of them via a barrel and with this barrel we just place it beneath each of those and then we're gonna just gonna place in here a drop a hopper and continue on with a row like so and then we're gonna grab some more composters and place them in between also one here and we're also gonna have a, a dropper so this one should face upwards like so here we're gonna have some chest and here we're gonna have a hopper facing into this chopper and this one just um, basically fills all the bone meal into this chest here. So then we're gonna place a self-emptying mechanism. So we need a 3x3 three three area. Um, we need a comparator. Three Peters, both of them set to two ticks and just some redstone like so. And I just noticed we can just put this repeater here to one tick, it will be fine as well. So then we need a redstone signal into this dropper here, into that one here, and also some reset redstone right like there. And from here on we're just gonna build with cyan wool, like so. And the first cyan wool will be here, where we have three of those uh, wooden axes in there. It's just a comparator which we read here. Then we're gonna have here a repeater set to two ticks. We have a redstone torch, like so. 
Then we have a repeater set to two ticks. We have a sticky piston. Another repeater set to two ticks. And from here on we just go all the way until we reach to the point where the block of the blue circuit is the same level as this cyan wool here, like so. And from here we just continue on to this dropper up there, like so. Ah, that's the dispenser, sorry. And we also gonna place in here some two tick and four tick repeaters. And we're just gonna start them by going from here with a four tick repeater into this circuit. So next up I wanna install here an observer and also one in the other direction. So if they, oh, that's the wrong way around. So a, if they face into each other, they just uh, close the circuit and make a clock. And from here on, we're just gonna build a repeater lane just like so. Perfect. And here we can also, yeah, we can replace that one through redstone since there's a repeater down there. We're just gonna block into this direction. And I wanna make sure that right above here, we go into the circuit with our blue line. So let's do that like this. So we just continue on, go up there into there. Torch, another torch. Here we're gonna have redstone dust. Here we're gonna have redstone dust. And for the orange circuit, we're just gonna place in two pieces of redstone dust, another comparator. Here we're gonna place a dropper, which should be down there. Also a hopper and finally a composter. And here we're just gonna arrange it 50-50, so one stackable and one non-stackable item in there. So, and then we're just gonna place here a blue wool block up, make a nice platform here. Here we're gonna have a repeater, a comparator set to subtraction, no, it doesn't have to, to be in subtraction mode, sorry. Four tick, four tick, four tick the other way, four tick the other way, and just some redstone dust, like so. And minor fix, I'm sorry, um, we have to concentrate just on the blue circuit, just ignore all the other ones, and we're just gonna remove the redstone here. We're just gonna block up like this. And we have to replace this torch here. So that's which is to uh, re remove this redstone here, place it against this block and then place the redstone back in and just uh, connect it up like this and then it will be fine. Last but not least, we're gonna add some note blocks here, one like with a very high pitch, like 10 or so. And down here, if you reset it and win, we can also place in here some nice music like with pitch six or so and we're gonna go one across and one down and place their three redstone lamps where are they they are come on here so and then we're just gonna block down one block diagonally we're just gonna place a bunch of blocks here we're gonna need one two three four five six repeaters here one two three and then again one oh one two three repeaters like so and we're just gonna fill in everything with redstone dust like so so if we remove like look here in the, at the top most left of your screen if we remove one wooden axe you can see one redstone torch lighting second one second one lights third one third one lights and we got this signal which is great we should also reset it completely as we can see here and we are done so and this finally brings us to the testing phase. So I just insert here one diamond. I get a bunch of snowballs and it should be two stacks and two to be precise. Where's the other stack? Oh, I just had one stack in there. Um, very sorry for that, but it's two, sta <laughs> two stacks and two. So yeah, you have to trust me on that one now. And yeah, just now we'll simulate just some melons going in there. So that's now the first melon. That's the first wooden axe transferred. Then that's the second melon. That's the second wooden axe transferred. And that's the third melon basically filled up the composter. 
end we get the boom all the like lamps are off and the machine just reset and with that we're basically done with this video and i hope you like water gun it's a very fun game i think and you can play it with friends you can play it alone against a machine or so but as a machine as a casino owner you will always make a profit since you just have to put one diamond in and the only thing you have to get your customers is some snowballs and some melons which are easily farmable and yeah with that said if you encounter any issues during the block by block tutorial make sure there is a world download link in the video description and make sure to try it out usually you can find and solve your problems there and with that said thanks for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye